Floating around Earth are two invisible donut-shaped rings of charged particles. They're called the Van Allen belts, a benefit of Earth's active molten core. These belts trap harmful solar and cosmic radiation, acting as part of a larger shield that protects everything below. But the further away from Earth you go, the weaker that protection becomes, and radiation levels rise fast. I think radiation is probably the biggest concern. Once we get outside of the Van Allen belt, uh, that probably, uh, that risk uh, exponentially grows. And what happens when we do? Cancer, cataracts, heart problems, brain damage, down the pike, genetic mutations. Just your standard doggy bag from the Galactic Barbecue. We've now added a new one, and that is cognitive decline uh, from neurotoxicity, basically, from radiation. Dr. James Logan was a medical advisor in mission control for 25 NASA missions. But he says his former agency isn't taking this threat seriously. And it's funny, but NASA really doesn't seem to care about radiation. And the reason is, you can almost compare NASA to the NFL and radiation to CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. What NASA's concerned about is the mission. What a football coach is concerned about is winning the game. But CTE is bad chronically later on for a football player, and radiation can be terrible for an astronaut later on in their lives. Astronauts aboard the ISS are exposed to radiation levels 100 times stronger than Earth's surface. To reduce astronauts' risk of cancer, NASA limits crew members' total career radiation dose to 600 millisieverts. For comparison, the average American living to 70 years old is exposed to around 430 millisieverts over their entire lifetime. But step outside Earth's magnetic bubble, that number jumps fast. Take a three-year mission to Mars, and you could be exposed to 1,650 millisieverts. That's the equivalent of over 16,000 chest x-rays. 